G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Today on the board, uh, we've got the Sonic Cake Mattress Box 2. Now, this is about 220 bucks here in Australia, and this is, I'm telling you, the uh, the best value multi-effects pedal on the market. It's amazing how much stuff they've actually squeezed into one uh, multi-effects unit. It's, it's really quite fascinating, and more importantly, it sounds great. Now, I'd like to thank Sony Cake very much for sending this over. Uh, they have sent it to us to uh, have a look at. G'day, Anna. If you're watching, uh, you're a legend. So, anyway, let's go through a list of uh, these features. There is 63 different amps in here, 93 different effects, 61 different amp cabs. Um, and there's also 15 uh, blank spots to put your own IRs in, if you've got your own IRs, uh, like most of us do these days, I reckon. Uh, next, have a look at this massive big screen on it. That's pretty awesome. Um, it's got three foot switches that you can assign to do pretty much whatever you want out of the box. Uh, it comes with uh, up and down presets and then you can turn one thing on and off. I've got it set at the moment to turn three different pedals on and off. You can see them change there on the screen to on and off when I press them. And then I've added in this little loop, uh, uh, loopy pedal here just to uh, change the presets up and down. Um, then I have also, because I'm a bit of a nerd, changed the long press on that pedal to be the tuner, which is absolutely massive. Oh, almost, oh, oh. Right, now on the back of it, it has an effects loop so you can go for cable method if you're using an amp if you want. Or, the, or you can just plug uh, your favorite drive pedal in or fuzz pedal in, whatever you want it to do. So if I'm, there's heaps of fuzzes and distortions and stuff like that in there, overdrives, which I will show you in a separate video. Uh, right, next it has uh, MIDI in and MIDI out there, the little headphone size, socket ones, little TRS, 3.5 TRS. MIDI in and out, which is incredibly helpful uh, if, you, if you want to switch stuff. Pretty much everything in here can be controlled by MIDI, which is sweet. Even individual blocks and stuff, which is awesome. Tap tempo as well, which is cool. Um, it's got USB-C on the back now. This can actually transfer six channels of audio at once. So it gives you the actual audio out of the unit. And then you've got a couple of different options where you can send like just clean guitar for reamping later and that sort of stuff, which is awesome. So um, that's a really, really handy feature to have. Now the software is really awesome. There's another video on the channel uh, called Let's Build a Preset with this thing. If you wanna go check out, see how the um, software works, uh, just go check it out, it's on our channel. Uh, it's got a looper built in which has 90 seconds of looping time. It's got a hundred drum rhythms. There's a hundred different rhythms in there. You can just get in. I'll make a whole different video to show you all the drum rhythms, which is pretty cool. They're a really good alternative to metronomes if you want to practice along with a metronome. It's way more fun to practice along with a, uh, with a drum beat, let me tell you. Then it's got the tuner which I've already seen and then most importantly for me, this thing is made out of metal and it's as solid as a rock. And that's very, very important to me uh, because, you know, there's a lot of idiots at pubs that spill beer and stand on things and break things. It gets bashed and crashed around. So, uh, you know, if you want to use it in the bedroom and take it to the occasional gig, this thing will be amazing. And it runs on a thousand milliamps. So if you're running a Strymon Zoomer or something like that, you will need a, a current doubler for your Strymon Zoomer. Same as what you do for your HX Stomp and that sort of stuff. Um, you'll need some sort of current doubler, but it is just nine volts uh, at one amp or a thousand milliamps. And um, so that's pretty cool. Right, when you take it out of the box, the very first uh, sound you uh, you meet is this one. I don't have a pick uh, in my hand right now, so uh, doing harmonics is a lot harder. I can't believe I can just do that without a pick. Anyway, there you go.
There's some really cool presets I've got set up in here. Here's one with the crybaby. That's pretty cool. sound reverse chorus is a nice one So anyway, there's 198 different presets in here. Um, they're sort of grouped into banks of three. So if you're running everything as a just sort of preset mode that you can access three at a time, they're bunched into groups of three. So sort of like A, like one, ABC, two, ABC, three, ABC, that sort of stuff, which makes it nice and easy to get around. Now, the other really exciting thing about this is if you want your reverb before your amp, you can. You can just move it around. It's heaps easy to do in the software, but it is possible uh, if you want to put your cab in front of your amp. I don't know why you would, but you can. If you want to have the volume pedal at the start of the chain instead of the end, you can. If you want to just turn them all off, you can on, you can. Uh, the other cool thing is if you just turn the amp section and the, I, and the uh, IR section off, the cab section off, uh, you can just use it as a normal everyday uh, effects unit and just run straight into the front of your guitar amp. Um, otherwise, you'd be going direct, like me, which is uh, pretty cool. Now, um, the other thing it does is that while you're playing along, uh, you can also just turn individual effects on and off. <laughs> with that button, with this button, cab button, noise reduction button, amp button. Oh my God, there's so much stuff you can do there. Exit button, exit button always just takes you back to the back to your, the normal face page. 60s overdrive. See, I've just used to turn the delay off. You can just push it again to turn it back on. Which is super awesome. Now the other thing is in here. If you push this button, the global button, this helps you change uh, the MIDI channel. You can change your input levels and your output levels for the whole unit. It also has a global EQ that you can change. If you want, um, you can assign where you want the foot switches to go and what you want the expression pedal to do. Uh, you can also get down to the display here, push the button to choose whatever you want. There's the brightness, always on. Oh, English, oh, oh, yeah, better leave it on English. Push the exit button to get back out. So there you go, it's an incredibly, incredibly flexible unit. It's I.O. is pretty flexible as well, giving you normal um, outputs um, and also giving you USB output. That's cool, so you can use it as an interface for your uh, computer if you're going. That way, um, the looper makes it super flexible. Um, there is 90 seconds of looping in there as well, which is more than you could ever want. Most of us only loop sort of 10 to 20 second phrases at a time, uh, which is also really, really cool. So I think that's it. I think I've covered everything. And the fact that it's in a really tough metal casing uh, makes a really big difference. To me, I find that very important. I'm not 100% keen on the uh, plasticky feeling modelers. So this is great. Well done, Sonic Cake. If you got this far, thank you very much for watching. I um, leave a thumbs up and a like and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Everything you do really, really helps the channel out. And uh, we really appreciate you spending some time with us. So um, we'll see you in the next video.
Bye.